In this lesson, we're going to be talking about ethics and the importance of ethics and particularly the importance of ethics as it relates to accessing computers doing ethical hacking or penetration testing. As we undertake the process of doing a little bit more investigation into different techniques with regards to penetration testing and ethical hacking, it's really important to talk a little bit about ethics. Ethics are really an important part of ethical hacking, not surprisingly given the name. Ethical hacking is really about doing the right thing with regards to ensuring that the system or the application that you are working with maintains its availability and that what you're doing is really intended to improve either the security or the functionality or the integrity, the availability, any of those things of the particular system or service that you're working with. You do a Google search on computer ethics, you'll find a lot of different interpretations, a number of different web pages around talking about computer ethics. But it's really important to just keep in mind that anything you do, you have to have permission to do that particular task. So if you're working on your own systems within your lab, that's fine because you, of course, can give yourself permission to do that sort of thing. If you are doing some penetration testing against, say, ComputerEthicsInstitute.org, for example, because I happen to be here on this page right now, and you don't have permission, you are not doing work on behalf of the Computer Ethics Institute, and you are interacting with their service, and anything that you do is certainly unethical and could also be considered illegal as well. So keep in mind that the work that you do with regards to penetration testing and ethical hacking really has the possibility, if not probability, of doing some damage to a computer system. And that damage is something that needs to be expressed up front before you do the work so that the target is aware that that's a possibility and they accept that particular risk as part of the work that you're doing. So again, the goal of doing penetration testing or ethical hacking is really all about doing work that is going to improve the security of a system or improve the availability or integrity of a system. What you're doing is trying to make things better rather than trying to break things and make things worse. So that's really all there is about ethics. It's making sure that you have permission to do what it is you're going to be doing and that you're not out to specifically do harm, that you're out to maybe accidentally cause harm for the purpose of improving the situation in the long run. Again, your goal should not be to destroy things, although sometimes with this particular kind of work, that happens. As you're doing application testing on a website, for example, you may accidentally knock that particular website offline. It comes as part of the territory. The goal should not be, unless it's specifically outlined at the beginning of the engagement, your goal should not be to cause destruction or do damage to any system or user of a particular system. So that's ethics. We're going to be looking at a number of techniques and tactics as we go forward with these lessons. And where possible, I will probably drop in reminders from time to time about making sure that you have permission and that you are doing the right thing from an ethical or a legal standpoint.